I had an allergic reaction from the over-the-counter vitamins that were prescribed to me. And my face really swelled up. I was vomiting and everything. The works. Until now in hospitals, they're still not permitting dads to be present in the delivery. I've reached the point where I'm considering maybe giving birth in a birthing center. I do have a birth plan, but you can never really tell what's gonna happen on the day itself. But I'm hoping for no interventions talaga. Like, I, I don't wanna have the epidural. Yeah, actually, my mom was all, already warning me against it also because it, she had bad effects. Women have been giving birth for years and years and years in different settings. And this is just, I guess, how I want to do it. I wanna be able to try at least to do it without the, the meds and the epidural and everything. But bahala na talaga si God kung saan pupunta because you never know it. For me, kasi, I've always been like that. I've always been more of the natural way. Like, I, I really don't like taking meds. I think that's why I react quickly to them. Maybe that time that I had those synthetic vitamins. I thought I had morning sickness because I had what turned out to be a reaction to my vitamins. So I had an allergic reaction from the over-the-counter vitamins that were prescribed to me. And my face really swelled up. I was vomiting and everything. The works. Everything that you normally go through when you're being food poisoned almost. Because it, it was like that. So my eyes were really swollen and everything. But then when I stopped the meds, I stopped vomiting. So I realized that I never actually did have morning sickness. All the vitamins that I'm taking now are food-based and everything. So even before I was pregnant, like pag nagkaka fever na ako, hindi talaga ako nagme-medicine. I go for fruits and vegetables and I try to get healthy the natural way. I'm gonna start the Lottie's by this week. That's something that I used to do, but I don't have the equipment for it. So I'm gonna take online classes for that because it's hard to do alone. And especially when it's prenatal exercises, it's good to have proper guidance as well. During my first and second trimester, I was really active on the bike. Not outside, but just here in indoor, indoor cycling lab. And I'd walk a bit in the treadmill, which I still do now, but not as long as I used to. I do light weights and everything, but that has been lessening. And I guess, para I'll be sticking to Pilates more often now, towards the, the end of my pregnancy.